One of the most common problems we face as DJs a lot of the time when we're on the spot in the mix is the equivalent of writer's block. Not knowing what track to play next and the time is running out on the current song. Well, Den and DJ have a great solution to this built into their engine prime software inside the hardware. Hey, Jamie Hartley here and in this quick tip today, I'm here to help you get across that writer's block. So if you're ever struggling on your Denon DJ piece of equipment, whether it's the Prime 2, the Prime 4, the Prime Go, whatever you've got, if you're struggling for what to play next, Denon have a great solution to this and there's some really powerful tools built into this hardware to help you choose the next song. We're going to take a closer look at some of the settings and how to use this feature right now. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff to help us keep making more videos and tutorials like this. And if you want access to our Crossfader music pack, stick around till the end where the link will be available. For this tutorial, what we're going to look at is the search feature, which is this magnifier glass here. But first of all, I want to show you some settings within the engine OS built into these pieces of hardware. So if you hold the view icon here and then make your way to preferences, we can scroll right to the bottom and in the library preferences at the bottom here, we have a few different options. Now my key notation I set as Camelot. It's the most common notation for a lot of DJs and it's very easy to understand. For key filter, I've set this to compatible rather than match. Now compatible will open up some more options, not just pull up the same um, tracks in the same key as the one that you're currently playing. There will be a few more options, which again opens up to suggest other tracks that you may not have thought about mixing into the current one. BPM range, that's for just the BPM analysis if the hardware is an analyzing the music inside this hardware rather than on the Engine Prime software. I've left that at 78 to 155. And then BPM filter tolerance, which is something you can play around with to your personal preference. I've got it on plus or minus 3% at the moment, but it depends how much you want to stretch the filtering when you're searching through your library. If you set yours on plus or minus 3%, it'll show up similar to how I'm about to show you now on the hardware. Now let's take a closer look by pressing view again at this search feature. I've got Drib Drab by Kurt Lopez loaded here from our Crossfader music pack. If this track's playing, this is classed as the master deck. So then when I go into search here, think about what do I want to play next? What song could I mix with this one? I'm unsure. I could then choose to search through my entire USB by the key. Now you'll remember that we had it for compatible keys. So if I go down to 2A, which it displays here, which is the current key of the song, I can search through my entire USB stick or library by that key. And it shows up everything in 2A, but also 3A and 1A, and also 2B here. They are all the keys that are compatible with the current playing song that I've then narrowed down by my key search. If you want to go further than that and you think, well, I'm now at 125 BPM, you could order this by BPM or by other categories here. Or if you wanted to search even further, you can click this drop down, add BPM in and even search further by just typing the BPM of the current song, say 125. And it will just now show me tracks that are 125 BPM on my USB stick that will mix and are compatible and mixing key with the current song, which is great. I could go back out of there and I could think, actually, let's have a look. I'm mixing at 100, 125 BPM now. Let's scroll down to 125. And you'll notice what it brings up is not just 125, but we had plus or minus 3% variation in what it's going to show. So now we've got all the tracks on the USB that are between 122 BPM and it goes all the way down to 128 BPM. Again, I could narrow this down and order them by the key like this, and I can look through and find where are all my two A's. They're here, and I can get inspiration of what track to play next. These are just some really quick ways to navigate through your library and get suggestions of what track to mix into the current playing song. There are more options here for the filters if you tag your tracks by genre, you can do that in there. Or if you want to search specific artists or albums, that can be done too. Just be aware of this drop down here so that you can add and take away different options for the search bar up above here. And that's just a really quick way that you can get inspiration on any piece of Denon DJ equipment, inspiration for what track to play next if you're struggling. 
Now, I would recommend setting up crates and playlists and organizing your music, but I found this really useful if I'm just unsure what to play, jump into the search bar, I've got my settings set up and I can just narrow that library down by the BPM or by the key and find things that will work and give me inspiration when planning sets. If you've enjoyed that tip and want to learn more tricks like this, or even how to get started as a DJ on your Denon equipment, things like beat matching, mixing seamlessly using EQs and filters, and much more, then check out our online beginner course for Denon DJ Prime Equipment. If you want to get a glimpse inside that course, just sign up via the link in the card or the description where you can get access to one of the lessons directly from that course, as well, as promised, our full crossfader music pack to help build your music library and get started with some DJ ready music. Thanks again for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and do all that good stuff to help us keep making more tutorials like this. And let us know in the comments what you want to see in the future.